So WB have greenlit the Penguin Show, but no word on Catwoman. I think Catwoman will be a greater series, more to explore, and a better character. Thoughts, Erica? Thank you, Erica. I disagree. Penguin is the greatest villain of all time. The end. Uh, so Matt Reeves did mention kind of that there was going to be a Penguin uh, series a little while ago, Andrew. I don't know if you remember that. I think he mentioned everything was going to be a pe- uh, or a pe- Catwoman was going to be a series on HBO Max. I think he mentioned everything was going to be a series on HBO Max. Too. He's <laughs> just like throwing like stuff at the wall, see what sticks. Um, for me, Catwoman, look, I have my, my thoughts on Catwoman. I think the Penguin thing makes a lot of sense. And you and I are going to do a video on on some stuff that we're hoping to see in the penguin show. Cause I think there's some stuff they could do really cool with that show mm-hmm. that live in the Batman that really, really, really expands the lore of the Batman universe. Whereas Catwoman, I, I, I mean, she's gone to Bloodhaven. We all know that and everything, but I'm really hoping that we don't get a series with Catwoman. I want, I mean, it could work and we could see whatever her being a cat or blah, 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 blah. That's fine. But for, for me, Andrew with Catwoman, what I really want is I want her dynamic with Bruce. And I'm going to do another video next week, uh, I think, with, with Brian on the – oh, by the way, your voice – I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but you're voicing a character in Brian's animated short that he's doing. It's about superheroes. That's and right. he showed he showed me some some stuff today from it. Oh, man, it looks good. Anyway, Ooh. yeah, it's uh, – it's uh, yeah, it uh, – I don't – I can, no, he doesn't want me talking about it, so I can't, but it looks – yeah, he showed me some stuff. And it looks uh, – it looks solid. Anyway, um a new video uh, on that with, with another character. And I really think that um, Catwoman needs to remain with Batman. I think Catwoman needs to stay with Batman. I Again, we could get that show, but I think the show would be ultimately irrelevant to everything. Because as much as I loved, I loved Selena Kyle in this movie and Catwoman, but I think that character needs to play on Bruce Wayne. You and I were talking when we said what the, what the Batman did perfectly was they used the villains. And part of the villains was the use of Catwoman. And how and, and and her and Batman and bat and and Batman needs to be with Catwoman and Catwoman needs to be with Batman and he needs to be there to witness her fall further deeper fall into darkness into the into the villainous role that she's going to be of Catwoman. I know she's always kind of on the fence, but I think for the sake of the Batman character, she needs to she, she can't be like no i'm good she's like always has to be i'm bad i'm bad i'm bad and this movie she's kind of like still teetering that line right she's walking that fine line and then ultimately she saves bruce and i think she'll always save bruce but i think they they have to portray her in a way where there's no going back she's made her, like she's anakin skywalker she's made her deal with the devil and this is it and but but batman has to has to witness that and that has to be a part of his character development and growth and he has to be that has to affect him in ways that we don't know. And you tie that in with what I want with Jason Todd and then Mr. Freeze. And I just think this just adds so much drama and character and depth. And it will give us a Batman we've never seen before while still maintaining the Batman that we know and love. And so that's my thing on Catwoman. I would love it to be a series, but I think she needs to be tied with Bruce Wayne. With, not with Bruce Wayne, actually, at all. With Batman. She needs to be tied with Batman. And she needs to go full dark. And he needs to be there. And it needs to crush his soul. Yeah, Erica, I think James is right on the money here. Remember, the beautiful, money. the beautiful thing about this movie that we just got is that it's lifting Batman as a character and giving him growth through the villains and who they are and what they do. And the minute you just focus on Catwoman herself doing her own thing, sure, there's probably lots of great stories you can tell with her, and Zoe Kravitz does a terrific job, but you lose that aspect of how this all affects Batman. Um, and for me, as I've, I think I've brought up a few times here, this whole idea of like, you get a spinoff, you get a spinoff, <laughs> that that raises a lot of red flags for me, man. It really does. Because it's just like, it, it, it begs the question for me, why was this not good enough to put in a feature film? Um, and I mean, if it can't be a length issue here because clearly Matt Reeves does not have a problem making a long movie. So it comes down to why is this not good enough to be in your film? Uh, and I want to see in the, in the terms of this thing, because we already have the DC EU and whatever it's going to be, um, and, that is its own little thing of connective tissues and crossovers and spinoffs and whatnot, because we already have 
that, since this is a different version of the Batman, I would really like to see it just kind of brought back down to a more classic level of all the important crap is happening in these films. Uh, and it's it's going to take some restraint because there are so many characters and we want to spend as much time with them as possible. But I feel like that's the best focused way to do this. And if it gets too out of hand and there's too many shows running everywhere and everything, I feel like we might run the risk of diluting the experience that was this movie. And maybe that's just me being overly protective of it because I love this film so much, but I would really just rather see him do three or four amazing three hour movies of this than one movie and then 20 spinoff shows. And then in 10 years, we get another, like, I, I don't want that. Um, now, having said that, Catwoman's doing a lot of great stuff in Bloodhaven and it'd be nice to see Bloodhaven. But again, that can, we don't have to stay in Gotham in the second movie. We can cut back and forth. We can do what, you know, the two towers cut back and forth between one part of the fellowship and the other. There's no reason why we can't do the same thing. here. I think the big difference between Catwoman and Penguin is Penguin is a gangster. He's in the mob. There's like, there's a yeah. story there. It's a limited series also. So there is a story there that, you know, whether he becomes the leader or, you know, second, whatever, whatever the outcome of this series is, will be his role in the next movie. And that's not something that, you need in the next movie you because the movie can start and be like this is penguin he's the leader of the mob and you're like okay i'm in <clears throat> like that's all you need but this show will just tie it in to fill the gap and, and kind of and flesh it out just a little bit and i think there's a lot of fun you can do same with Ark the arkham asylum show is arkham we all know what arkham is the show can just explore it and it can have a lot of fun doing that and i think that's the difference whereas Catwoman, she's her uh, you can have fun with Catwoman, but it wouldn't necessarily evolve the the franchise forward this the <clears throat> what's going on and that's what i think it is i mean you could but i think it would take away catwoman someone less is more keep her to the films and she needs to have i just feel she needs to have a brutal a brutal effect on batman the further we go that's just my opinion I, that's how i feel i just think that she needs to just have that effect on batman going forward and that's why i think you know I, the joker scene they just released that had a brutal effect on batman as well and it's funny i watched that and then i saw some clips of the movie after and i'm i i, I agree that they i understand why they cut it out and i'm like i'm not going to debate whether or not they should have because that's not our jobs at all that's the filmmakers but i will say there were things that the joker said that are later um, that that there are a lot of things that were said are are mirrored later on, and that's I understand that. But there's a few things that were said in the clip that were reiterated later on, and I forgot that there. And I was like, oh, that actually adds more weight now. I, and what I'm referring to, you've seen the. I'm just spoilers for have, anyone. Yeah. Who, anyway, so the Joker says, "You, I know who this guy is. He's a nobody." And then he goes on and on and on. And then when batman meets up with riddler he goes you're a nobody like he, he uses the joker's words on the riddler and i think that just and again this is a five minute scene you don't put it in the movie but like that alone i was like oh that's pretty that's power on top of the other stuff i learned from that scene that was extra powerful as well because now you're using the joker against the riddler and the thing i love about the joker in that scene also is that people are complaining well we've got to focus i love it because he is the joker obviously but the joker represents every pos in gotham and that could have been any character from two-face to mad hatter to ventriloquist to clayface to like it could have been anyone in gotham doing that and that's how corrupt gotham is and i and and i love that aspect of it so uh i went off topic a bit but uh i love that scene i love gotham and i can't wait i can't wait for more but i just th i just think catwoman needs to affect uh, Batman in a brutal way. Yeah, and hopefully vice versa. Hopefully he affects her in a way too, and they they build each yeah. other up because that's what this movie was so good at doing. And I don't think we need spinoffs. I think we just need more of that. We've got plenty I, of things with spinoffs already. But I don't want to see her come back to the good. I want her to be bad. I'm selfish. It's yeah, I like her bad too. Yeah, I like, yeah, the, I, mean, I, like, I like the crazy version of Catwoman who's just like. I'm afraid of being near this person as opposed to the one who's just like, I'm good at stealing necklaces. Like I like the, I, the one that makes the weird cat yeah. noises and it's like, I'm not going here. <laughs> I don't need a redemption story anymore. We've yeah. got to play those.